At the end of the week, we'll be heading home, leaving Conviction Vancouver to run on its own. And to celebrate how far the trainees have come, we're hosting a special dinner for the friends and family. But we have a big problem. I can't deal with this anymore, man. No, I don't have a second, man. I'm gone. Justin quit last week, and we haven't heard from him. We don't know if he's still clean and OK, or if he relapsed and we lost him. Hey! On top of that, Cassandra heard her head last week. But the good news is, she's back today. I'm glad to be back. She missed the chef so much. Yes, this say is it? true. I miss the chef so oh, much. Okay, it is good, true. I don't, know, you don't have to tell me to say it. It's true. <laughs> is there any word if Justin's coming back, or? I don't know, man. He usually texts me, and I texted him on Monday. He never texts me back. Because I sent him an urgent, like, sort of text that was like, call me right now, man. So he usually tells me what's going on, but apparently not this time. The reason why the incident happened was pretty bad. It was like he flipped out on the day that he took his 30-day. We gave him a card and everything, and everybody signed it. And not even two hours later, he's like, just like talking about walking out. I know where he's at. Had to do with his 30 days. It had to do with him feeling like, I'm at a point I've never been at in a long time, and everybody's watching me. What if I let everybody down? That's what he's thinking, man. He's got to stop thinking to get clean for everybody else and get clean for himself. Yeah, 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 yeah. What animal is the short ribs from? Cow. Are you sure? Yeah. So that's not pork, that's cow. Oh, yeah, it's from a bull. It's, uh, actually, it is beef. It is beef. Are you sure about that, Sarah? I think I'm going to double check. Is the short ribs from a cow or a pig? I know I should know, right? Beef. Like, that's what I thought. Like, who he doesn't says, think that? That's obvious, right? He says, beef is short ribs. There's something wrong with Itar. She's acting more weird than usual, like she's distracted by something. Uh, I gave you the wrong bill if this was yours. Yeah, this is what's going Here. But that's not number f Oh, no, it's number six. They all say four. OK, so the fluta, for example, should yeah. be in position two. But should I just bill one first, because one's a right? No, but tartar, it's not right, because tartar was supposed to be on two, too. Hey, you have me really confused Me, now, too. Ay, 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 ay. This is why we have to make sure it's done right the first time. But wait a minute. The fries were on f***ing three, too. You didn't keep your little uh, notepad of one? Yeah, I did, and then, and then it just, I don't know. But machines, sometimes, you know, you can't trust them. And whose credit card is that? Number one's. OK, so you're going to take it back to reconfirm yeah, yeah. it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. been here from day one, and she should have figured it out by now. Where did we want to go? I'm not sure. Could why, you get your tips? Why, why do you need it? Oh, okay. Right. No, the tips aren't. She's not going to do the tips until tomorrow. What? She's not going to be able to do them until tomorrow because she's kind of busy. I thought I was going to be getting my tips today, and all of a sudden, oh, no, we're not getting them until tomorrow because Bianca doesn't have time, and it's just really frustrating me that it's always like, first it was Wednesday, now it's, oh, we get them on Thursday, now what, we're not getting them until Friday, and I kind of, like, budget around it, and I'm pissed off about that because, like, I don't even have, like, a SkyTrain ticket. I actually got a ticket on the SkyTrain for 175 bucks last week, which is even more frustrating because I actually have a car that's sitting in Buster's towing, and if I don't deal with it this week, like, I was planning on moving in my car is what I was planning on doing. I'm staying with a dude that I barely know, but he's really nice, and that's neither here nor there. It's just weird, and f***ing whatever. Okay. But what's wrong? I don't have a home. Where are you sleeping? I, no, I don't know. It's day to day. Like, I need to find a place. But I have no money, so, um... How much money do you still have on you? Zero dollars. But your tips are coming tomorrow. Do you need some tonight? I do need some tonight. Like, I... I before... is, that, is that the issue? You have to be honest with me. What yeah, is it that well, bothers you? Yeah, I was looking for you because of that. Yes, that is my issue. I give you advances before. Yeah, please. Like, yeah, I... that's not a problem. I can give you an advance. It's not an issue. So I'll give you as much as you need to, today, and then I'll see what I got from the tips, and then I'll do that tomorrow. Before you guys even come in, you'll have your tips done. Okay. Okay? Thank you. Anything else I can help you with? No, that's all. I've done your hair, done your thing. <laughs> Anything else I can do for you? No, that's good. Thank you, Bianca. No, you're welcome. Honestly, I just want you to feel better. I advanced the tar enough money to put down a deposit on a place to live. Hopefully now she can concentrate on her job. We still need anything from Justin, which is a bit worrying. If we don't hear anything from him by tomorrow morning, we're going to have to start looking for him. But even that could be too little too late. I just hope he doesn't relapse. This morning, Justin walked in for the first time since he walked out last week. Hey, what's up, man? Hey. Hey, yeah. Yeah. What's going on? Want to come out? Come have a smoke with me first. Oh, yeah, we'll first. 
Did you not get my text? The other day? Yeah. I was not having a good day. Neither was I. I'm sorry, I, I couldn't call anybody, talk to anybody. Uh, I was going to kill myself the other day. Why would you think that's a good idea? Don't ask me. I've not had a relationship in a long time. Like, I have a relationship with Justin. He was very honest from the get-go about what he was coming from to get here, and it just right away hit something inside, and I said, I got, I love this guy. She keeps, she, she partly keeps me here, you know, it's, it's people like her that, uh, you know, that stuck it out and uh, who can really understand what I'm going through. Hi, kid. What's going on? I was still very angry at Justin, but when I saw him, I was relieved because I could see he was okay. Did you see it this morning? Your sponsor? Sponsor gave him because after the incident that happened here, he obviously didn't call anybody, you know? But, you know, I mean, God bless, uh, you know, after all that in the Lama, he stayed sober. That's, that's, uh, that was the most important thing. Well, I, I need to do something. I'm willing to do whatever it takes, so, you You're know. still on that bit, right? Even though it's painful, you get it, that that's... Yeah, I gotta do it sometime. I can either do it now or I can do it in a jail cell, so, I mean... Or in a coffin. Not only is Justin back, but he seems to have a new determination to beat his addiction. I've tried all this before, you know, and, it, and I get feeling a little bit better. And I'm like, oh, well, I don't need anything. I just go on with life. And it never works. And I, so I'm willing to do, like, this is the last time. And heroin's got me scared shitless. You know, I was honest when I told him that, like, you know, kicking heroin is a... And, and, and I'm scared. Uh, I'm honestly scared of that drug. And I'm scared I'm going to use it again, and I'll die. Like, it's been a long time since I've been able to finish something that I've started, you know? I dropped out of college, like, a month before graduation, put it that way, you know? And, um, yeah, so it'll be, it'll be a, uh, a milestone to be able to finish this if I get through it. Good evening. Welcome to Conviction. Okay. Here's the menu. I got 17 already set up, but I'm gonna leave them with bread and stuff. They're, try I, I, they're trying to wait till 10 o'clock and I can sell them more wine the longer I sit them here, so. I go when you tell me. Yes, sir. Yes, chef. I like that. It's good, yeah, you can sell more wine. You speak like a professional waiter. <laughs> it's good. It's nice to have Justin back, and I really like his your attitude. Maybe he's getting the better of his demons. What time is this table of 20 coming? Itar is expecting a table of 20 in her section tonight, and hopefully they're good tippers because she really needs the extra money. Well, where is this table of 20? Well, that is, if they don't show up, I mean, who took that reservation? Oh, I did, but it was by email, right? So that's, uh, I have no way of getting in touch with her other than by email. I really hope this table of 20 shows, man. Okay. They're never gonna show up. <gasps> oh, maybe that's them. Hello. Hi. Do you have a reservation? Yes. For 20. Yeah. Right this way, please. <laughs> There's only 14 of you. Um, all right. Have you ladies decided on anything to drink? Do you have any non-alcoholic? Sure, I, I don't see a problem with that. Yeah. Okay. You can have anything. It doesn't have to be an alcoholic drink. Are you just OK with water? Or? OK, that's fine. I felt really sorry for Atara because it soon became obvious that her table were not big spenders. Are you ready to order, ladies? That's all? Yeah. Okay. Have you decided on something yet over here? Um, That's it? Yeah. Okay. And humans? Have you decided on something to eat? Uh, I'm good. Nothing at all? <laughs> okay, you should. Uh, okay, it's up to you. <laughs> Dessert, anything? to do anything, but I mean, uh, I would recommend you try the food while the chef's in town. I mean, he is world-renowned, but it's totally up to you. There's no rule as far as that goes. Uh, Steven? Yeah. Okay, these bachelorettes want 14 separate bills, so should I just start off, like, with the bat? Okay. Yeah, you can do that. They want it split in 14 ways, and they're all ordering one friggin' thing. That's it. And they want free refills. Evening, ladies. Yes. Have a good night. Good night. Bye-bye. Good night. All you buy is the burger medium well. So, uh, Two on the medium, one fluda. Guys, I need three fries. So what do I do? Last week, Bobby and Krista quit. Just leaving me with two other trainees in the kitchen. Today, I hired a new one. 
She doesn't have much experience, so she's gonna have to learn quick. Okay, here's her side order. I went to jail for trafficking and assault on a police officer. Well, I've basically been going in and out of jail since I was a youth for selling drugs. It's just a lifestyle that I was adapted to, and eventually it just became a continuing cycle. Jail is really depressing. I usually overeat or I work out a lot. It's not a fun place. You either stand up or you just get beaten. For years I wanted to cook, but going out and looking for a job is actually one of those things that I never want to do. I just don't feel acceptance. I'm gonna show you tonight how to do the platters for the French fries. Okay. Right? As well as like preparing the plates for the hamburger, like for the uh, bison burger. And I'll show you what way that the plate is built. I'm very happy with her. She jumped in like an old pro. So how is everything? It's my first disappointing meal here ever. Oh, really? Okay. Okay. Come in. Can, can you come to table one or two with me, please? Why? Because they didn't like their meal. And why? Um, they said that the, the fries were too greasy, the salad, like the lettuce part of it or whatever, just wasn't right. She said it was her first disappointing meal at Delilah's ever. So. Come again? This is Bianna, my boss. Just see if you could give me a little bit of feedback. Oh, we, we've been coming here for years, and it just felt like the quality was a little different. The uh, salads were on the bland side. The the uh, one with the bacon and the blue cheese salad was a big chunk of lettuce, and it was kind of wet and watery. And, and uh, the scallops, however, were done beautifully, exquisitely. Oh. And then um, the, the rabbit was really greasy, and the fries I couldn't eat. Hmm. So that's too bad. everything here. You want me to take this away? Yeah, this, like, this wasn't good at all. The link card? Yeah. No way. It's usually awesome. They complain too. What's wrong with it? Nothing. Here, can I taste it? Go on. Yeah, I'll leave it here. I'll Thank you. It. Taste this and tell me if because they said it's awful. Super. They, uh, That's good. It's a love card. If love awful it. means amazing, yeah. maybe. But Hi, I'm Bianna. How are you? I know I noticed that you've returned the link card, man. Uh, no, just the fish tasted a bit off, um, and so it, you know, the fish tastes off. So I'm not interested in eating it. <laughs> I'm more than happy to take it off. I mean, thank you very much for letting us know, and I've told my chef. But we're more than happy to take it off your bill. How old is the uh, How old is the card? What? How old is it? You know how old is it? No, I tasted it. It was nice and fresh, but the lady. It's the lady said it was off, and I, I don't think so. I just cut that link card yesterday, actually. Came in yesterday? Yeah, came in yesterday. He, he came off the board on Wednesday, actually. No, no, I know. But what I'm saying, I, I, I just think that the combination of all the flavors in that particular dish is something that she doesn't like. Just apologize, y'all. Just wasn't to her taste, that's all. I'm really sorry about that, but we voided it off your bill. Thanks. For you, OK? That lady said to me, um, excuse me, miss. That meal, this lingcod, what this is the worst meal I've ever had in my life. And I was just like, oh, really? Okay. My equipment is falling apart. It's going to take uh, 45 minutes to melt uh, cheese, the goat cheese. Easy 45 minutes. Do you see anger on my face? Do you? It's not just the cost of it, we're difficult tonight. Everything in my kitchen is either broken or breaking down. If they ask me, did you have a great experience at Delilah's, I say, fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Look at them. Open up. Ria? Yeah? I need five more bowls. They're little ones? No, no, uh, the bowls. The dinner bowls, huh? There's no more big bowls. There's only little ones left. 17 bowls, that's all we had, 17 bowls. Steven, I can't work like that. I have no plates. You guys don't, we don't have enough plates. I put the salmon on a special dish, but I only have 17 of them. So when it's busy, I have to wait for the plates to come back. And if I have to wait too long for the next order, my fish is overcooked. And I hate that. Look at this salmon. Look at this salmon. Well, you should use a plate. At least look, you can save look the it, salmon. Look. I know. Touch it. Don't touch it. Touch it. Touch it. Oh, yeah. Nice. Well done. This is making it so much better. 
just keep on throwing things. No, that's fine. Nobody get. Beautiful sunny. I apologize, Tendam, it's overcooked, but we run out of plates in the back, so we'll see what we can do. And we run out of plates. We have no dishwasher. We have to Sorry, accident. Accident. There's a huge event going on in Vancouver this weekend, and I've arranged for the trainees to be a part of it. We know what this weekend is all about. It's, uh, it's Gay Pride Day tomorrow. You guys are doing your parade, OK? This is the area where you have to be. This is the map. OK. Who's going tomorrow? I just need to know. I am. You are? Yeah. You're not going? Yeah, I'm going. Sorry. Have you decided on your costumes and, and things? Yeah. And it'll be fun. You get a banner, which I have. That's good. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's that's really good. Yeah. Sweet. That's good. Yeah. Yeah, I love that. Good. Have fun. Are you going to go come to the Pride Parade? We'll be there, too. Very I'm going to dress up like Lady Gaga. So it'll be a lot of fun to support the restaurant and support my friends. Can we dress Mike up and get in drag? He uh, he asked me to come up with an outfit for him. I think you should just wear a sock. <laughs> Nothing else. And you put a big salami in there, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Another one that we've always got really positive reviews on is the braised short ribs. Maggie is turning out to be a great server, so tonight I've asked her to bring Danielle and Gail up to our standards. If you need any help, just let you know. Come, okay. come to me, okay? Thanks, buddy. Yeah. I robbed a store. I went into a store with a weapon. I asked for money. The first time I got money and cigarettes, the second time I got a concussion. So don't forget to ask if they want dessert. I know. He had a pool cue, and he decided to hit me with the pool cue. Ask him to switch the Lincod charge for a Lincod nugget charge. I was 21 when I went to jail, and I had my 22nd and 23rd birthday um, in jail. I need your help um, with a bottle of wine. Going to jail that day, getting beat up with a pool cue, definitely makes you go, hmm, so where's my life headed? Gail will be your server. She'll be right with you. Okay. This position is about getting my self-confidence back. It's getting my sense of independence, my ability to sustain myself. Are we going to switch to wine at any point tonight? This is my career, and I want to be able to manage a restaurant someday. OK, super. To be a successful head server, Maggie must learn to become a leader. She has to be comfortable in taking charge, even if it rubs certain people the wrong way. Got the booth right there. Oh, the yeah. Don't, please come here for a minute, though. Don't point ever in the dining room. And when you hand the food, don't, like, point at it. Like, this is your salmon. Like, okay. it's, it's yeah, not no fine point. dining. Maggie's kind of pissing me off because she explains things all in depth. I don't need an in-depth explanation, right? If you ever touch your face or your hair in, in the front of house, it's like there's people that will see that and never come back to your restaurant because well, they'll be grossed out. Yeah. I don't know. I'm just not used to um, people bossing me around. <laughs> I'm not used to bossing people around either. It's just I'm, I'm used to being the boss, the ultimate boss, because I usually have keys and hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of dope. I know. I'm just I'm having a hard time dealing with, with not being a dope dealer anymore. Maggie's strength is her ability to solve customers' problems. And this is the most important thing that Gail and Danielle can learn from her. I have the risotto. Oh, OK, that's right, right, OK. My mistake, she's eating her salad first on that one. You have to always punch in the mains together. I got it. Yeah, I didn't put the line in. I didn't know, I didn't know to do that. No, no, don't tell me. They ordered their appetizers, but one lady gave me her entree at the same time. Is this the uh, tongue sandwich? Yeah. Okay. Is that OK? I don't want it now. It's cause, because it's not what I thought it was going to be. Because I want, uh, was you wanted, like, it's pieces on a crouton type thing. That's what I was wondering. It's frustrating for Gail because she's learning by making mistakes. Gail is just picking up food, taking the diary, bring it back. She didn't know the dish, the tug sandwich. She wasn't sure how it was served. She kind of BSed her way through it to the customer. She thought it was with uh, a crouton or something? No, no, no. no. 
tongue sandwich. Bring it back to her. Yeah, that's what I say. Throw it at her. This is a fresh baked in house today by our, our, our chef from Toronto. He's, Okay. Um, if you if you don't like it, we can definitely try to make something else while okay, you're trying I'll this. Try Would it. you try it? I'll try it. You try it? Yeah. And she's kind of hemmed and hawed and said, okay, dear, I'll try it. And kind of humored me. And when she tried it, she raved about it. She Every time I walked by the table, you're amazing. That bun was good. You know, you're such a good server. Anybody that can get me to eat a bun, you know, and so that made me feel good. Would you like another martini? Every time, when there is a problem out there, she can deal with any situation with a customer. And most of the time, win that situation for us in the kitchen. She was good humored. She wasn't being a bitch at all. She was Thanks, really. Thank you. I like the way you did that. I learned something. <laughs> wow, this stuff smells good. Whew. Let me tell you, 36 days ago, buddy. <laughs> Is that when we started? Ready? Smell that. Oh, I know what that smells like, but this. Justin seems a little bit shaky tonight. He just doesn't seem himself. I think his old demons are coming back to haunt him. Like, to me, it's kind of it seems kind of weird being like, surrounded by you know my one of my worst enemies. Uh, four. Uh, four is that, and two is that. Obviously, they've been pushed to... The molten cake cream? No, 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 no. The other way around. Yeah. Oh, oh. Sorry. Thanks. Sorry about that. There we are. I think you ordered the coulants, right? Yes. Oh, sorry. We, sorry, my bad. The chocolate coulants, sir? Nope. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so the creme brulee. Yes. Come on now, you're my superstar, come on. The longer than I went on, the more worried I became. And at the end of the service, he freaked out on me. I don't get tips for that day? You're kidding me. Last Sunday, Justin walked out halfway through service. Then he walks away from me. Who the f walks away from me? And it's a rule in my restaurants that you don't get tipped from tables you leave in the lurch. You give me my money, see what the f happens. So I'll bring every mother out of the downtown east side coming to pick this place clean. Justin thought that I was cheating him out of his tips, so he demanded all the money back that I'd be keeping safe for him so he couldn't buy drugs. I need my money. I need it all tonight, right now. Please, and thank you. It's unfortunate they have to be like this with me tonight. Oh, yo. And all I tried to do is teach you a little lesson about respect. Je lui ai donné tout son argent, so you, so you know. He wants it, he has things to plan, and I trust him. I think it's going to be fine. I've tried not to give it to him, but I had to give it to him. Yeah. Remember how you were in the beginning? You actually didn't want the money. No. Because you knew the money was danger to you. Yeah, but sometimes you wanted it. Sometimes I wanted it. Do you remember the fight? We have some fights. Ah, I want the money. Mm, this was different. Mm. Remember what I told you? I give you 100% trust. And then now you've lost it and you're at zero. So same with him. He had 100% on my trust, 100% on my trust, in the, the kind of person that he was. Now he's with me, he's a zero. So every day he has to build back the little 1% or two, if he comes back, if he wants to, maybe he doesn't want to. So. Today is the Gay Pride Parade, and I'm going along with my guys to promote the restaurant. Okay, I'm good. Hot chops, we got it. Okay, very nice, Jugs. Thank you. Hey, Justin, it's Cassandra. We're just wondering where you are and if you're going to show up to do the parade with us today. So um, let us know. Call me back. And then it went to his voicemail, and then I called him again, and then it went straight to his voicemail. So Last night, Bianca gave Justin back all his money. I hope the f that he's not here today is not a bad sign. Tar called earlier, and I heard her. I don't know if she's going to be in tonight at all, or even in. She's not going to be here today. Thanks, everybody, for totally bailing. Hey, we're going to miss our spot. We got to get going now. I'm ready. Justin, Atta, Gail and Mike said they would come to the parade, but they didn't show up yet. So I guess it's just me who will be gay for a day. How are you, my darlings? Happy Pride, bitches. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Happy Pride.
The ladies did such a great job, so when they came back, we had a surprise for them. Everybody gets a day off today. What? Oh, oh, you paid? Yeah. Okay. yeah. Shut up, yeah. really? Oh, God, you no. shut up. Really? Oh, yeah. Serious? Oh, no. It's your day. Uh, <laughs> you <laughs> yeah. But this means our only servers tonight are Itar and Danielle. It was busy night tonight, eh? I think so. No, no. I know so. Check the books, huh? Well, then, yeah, it's a busy night. <laughs> Do you want an appetizer or yeah. a start and share? I am going to have the goat cheese sandwich with roasted beets. Wait, hold on, hold on. Ooh. Can we change it to... Uh, <laughs> can we, instead of fries, can we have the scallop and the coconut foam? Oh, that's a better idea. Yeah. Sounds so sexual. It's okay. Like... <laughs> yeah, now you go. <laughs> Food's going to be coming right away. Oh, yeah. Buddy's, like, lying down in the booth. She's oh. taking forever. Let's get it together, honey. <laughs> oh, she's been slow with the drinks, and slow with like taking the orders, and now it's just like whatever, whatever. There you go. Thank There's you. your pea broth. Nice. Thank you. There's your marinated olives. I think is that it? That's all you got? Yeah, that's it. Okay, everybody's got everything. Everything seemed to be going fine with Danielle's stable until they finished their first course. I don't like blue cheese. No, it's just... You didn't like it? I didn't care for it, no. The rabbit was too gamey. And I, I didn't think rabbit would be that gamey, but it was. Obviously, they were very picky customers, so when they made a special order, we tried to accommodate them. And I asked for no clam sauce or mussels or anything, and that's possible, right? It's not all pre-mixed. No, 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 no. Everything is done uh, a la minute. No, absolutely not. Thank you. Unfortunately, it made things even worse. Oh, Mark, there's uh, one guy there, and that. there's no shellfish on the salmon. Okay. We don't have the regular salmon. We the master, we the clams. It's not anywhere on the f***ing menu. I've told you guys I don't have muscle and clamps because I didn't, nobody gave me any money to buy some. But f*** me, what if people don't listen? Are we on the same listen? page? Are we, know, are does we, this are have clams and muscles? Are we on the same? But he wants, you understand? That's he why doesn't! He wants, no, no, he wants the gnocchi. He just wants salmon with gnocchi. Well, he wants salmon with gnocchi. Without any, he's allergic to shellfish. Well, I don't have it anyway! So can I give him this? I don't know if, if I have it, if there's some in a, in a fish stock or not. The question there. is, is there any shellfish? No, I know. I don't think so. He never said he had an allergy. To me, he, he may didn't. have not said anything. He didn't. Even though we made a special seafood dish for Danielle's table, they kept on complaining. No. No, no. My, my, my pork chop was salty. The sockeye salmon was all done wrong. We shouldn't be paying for this. OK, so can we take those two off, please? Yeah. Not a problem. They just seem to me like the type of people, OK, well, if we say, if we eat three quarters of it and then say this. No, it's disgusting. Somebody else who ordered the salmon just exactly like it is on the menu, Right. they didn't get gnocchi, chorizo, they didn't get any of that. So oh, what they ordered didn't happen. Okay. You're not going to believe this. Now they're back up at the till wanting another adjustment. So we ordered one where it was like very special, that was me. And um, I said, you know, I want the gnocchi, but not the clams or the mussels or any of that. And then the other one was supposed to be. Is this an allergy? No, I'm sort of quasi kosher, if you will. So I don't oh, eat. Oh, of course. I, I understand eat. exactly what that is. I just would have expected more responsiveness at the server level with all those complaints to present us with an initial bill that only had George's uh, blue cheese discounted. And for him to have. I know, but for him to have oh, to come out here. No, no, just, I know. It's a mentality thing. So no, Absolutely. Oh, well, all this is up. being okay. Yeah, so, that's really nice. So thank you. This is all being delivered in the most constructive way. When it's constructive criticism, also listen to it. But if you want a free meal, just tell me that. Everybody had a little drink and a little fun today, and it's Pride Day, and we got yeah, it. So yeah. um, we don't want you to leave really, really upset. So okay. Well, great. Thank and you I'll let very you, much. I'll let my husband. Thank you. thank you. And I'll let my husband know about thank the you uh, the food issue. Okay. Thank you very thank much. You. Thank you. My. in that booth with his sunglasses on throughout the entire meal. I think they were just continuously complaining about each entree so that they could gradually get them taken off. And that's exactly what happened. They went from a $299 bill to a $48 bill. Thank you, guys. Have a good Thank one. You, you too. Nice Have meeting you. She's still rough around the edges, but Danielle is improving as a server. I was very impressed with the way she handled the complaints this evening. Bye, sweetie. Ugh.
even the second and third week, I was getting 50, like off, off three or four tables, I was getting $200 in tips. Normally in my restaurant, servers calculate their own tips. Here, Steven, the manager, is doing it on their behalf. Now, some of the servers are starting to complain that they're being shortchanged. The house owes the servers money from yeah. credit cards. Yeah. And now we got them, but it's only for like four days only or something. So uh, what, did, what did Steve have to say? I don't handle the tips, so I have no idea why they're messed up. Maggie knows this, so she took it up with Steven on her own. I'm feeling that you're not being, somebody's not being completely upfront about this. I've gotten $300 in tips in five weeks from this place. I've worked in restaurants before. I know how many tips I should be making. There's something fishy going on. Don't accuse me of that. Well, something, okay. something's not right. I, what I do is at the end I of the night, I somebody hey, to hold accountable. Listen to me. At the end of the night, the cash goes into these envelopes. I give them to Vianna once a week. Mm -hmm. You don't always get 20%. I mean, yesterday, the average tip out was like 12%. Yeah. That's not much. You know, if it comes down to you just being greedy about tips, then this industry is not for you. You're going to have good days and bad days. That's I know, just the and way I'm it works. not greedy about tips, but I'm telling well, you're an, you. You're an instigator for this. And it's like, I have a lot of respect for you, but I'm losing a lot of respect for you now. I'm not trying to be greedy, but I'm sure that there's something not right. I've done so many fashion shows. You know, anyway, Maggie, it's like, I've kind of had enough of you being instigating. If you don't want to work here, you don't have to work here. I mean, I'm not I, I, saying I, 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 I don't like want to work but here. But if this because, is a big problem, no. If you're threatening to fire me because I want to see your books and how your accounting is practices okay, well, are going, okay. Well, it's like you know, it's like, I'm not going to show you the books. I mean, it's basically I do all of the uh, the, the cash outs for all of you guys at night because you guys don't do them yourself. I no, mean, which I've wanted to since. Day yeah, one. well, you, you know, obviously there's reasons why we haven't done that because there's been people here with REC ones that have issues with uh, cash and uh, credit cards. So we're not letting you guys do that until we have built up some trust. Whatever, Stephen, I'll be happy when we're doing our own cash outs. Mm -hmm. Well, you'll be doing the cash outs when I trust you guys. <laughs> for not trusting me. <laughs> treated like we have histories. This is supposed to be our second chance. And now it's being held against us? Again? In life? Like, what the f is the point of the whole five weeks, the whole seven weeks that I've been here doing this? If he's gonna be f***ing holding this shit over my head, I can't do my cash out? What records? He's telling me we can't do our cash out because we have records. This is supposed to be a second chance. This is supposed to be about us proving that we can be... I've been working for four years not down my Right. I told them that I robbed the second store. I told them. So I don't. I what can, record? Like you criminal like, record? Criminal record. That I don't give a yeah. shit. I Fine. ready to quit over this, Bianca. I you can get a job at a place just like this. You're gonna quit. In you have city. one week left with me. You're gonna quit. At least learn something. Not with no. When I'm done with you, I'm ready to walk. Okay. I'm not leaving. But you. you'll stay with me. Yes. Just stay with me so you learn something, please. I'm really glad to see Maggie back at work today. After her freak out about the tips, I've decided that from now on, the servers will be in charge of their own tips. Gail, how many friends and family do you have? Um, I have, what, well, this booth here, and I have seven. What I can do, I can give Mike's family here. Okay and then put Zoran's family sure. there. Okay. Tonight, we're putting on a special service for the trainees' friends and family. It's an opportunity for the trainees to show off how far they've come to the people who matter most. Well, I've got my brother and his girlfriend coming. Yay, finally. My brother and his girlfriend and my roommate and my, one of my best friends. This is my mom and my great auntie. I'm very excited to have my daughters here and see me and... I'm, I don't know, I'm kind of nervous. Mikey's bringing three ex-girlfriends, sit them at the, at the table together and see what happens. <laughs> Justin is back at work after quitting yet again. He has come and gone so many times that he feels he can come back without even apologizing. How are you doing? Are you back? Uh, I guess so, am I? Because you didn't show up for work on Sunday. I know. Just like that, you come back without an apology, without anything. So that's why I'm asking, are you back? Yeah. The thing is, the way you laughed, on Saturday. Don't threaten me with the east side, bring down people. I don't fall for that. 
I don't care. I mean, now, if you like, if that's what you're getting at. It's not that. No, it's, you see, you, you always go to these extremes. You don't have to leave. You don't have to make a big fuss about it. But you do have to find some humility and apologize for your behavior. I got ripped off, and you're telling me that I have to apologize for that. You didn't get ripped you know, off. People come here late and leave early every day. You got paid for your hours. I already told you that. The and only they reason get why you. But they never made a scene and left in the middle of service. You should know better than to know that I didn't f you over the tips. You didn't relapse? No, no, not at all. No. I, uh... Would you lie to me about that? No. I'm still alive. If I relapse, I'm dead. Now you're back here. Do you have any friends and family coming tonight? Isn't that a stupid question? Get over here. I love that woman. Love them both. They're closer to me than my own mother and father, you know? And I've only known them seven weeks. Right this way, please. Hi, I'm Maggie. I'm going to be your server today. No. <laughs> hey, bro. So this is Chris, my brother. Uh, this is my brother, Dan. He's, he's the youngest one. This is my mom. And this is my great auntie, Kathleen Flostrand. <laughs> Family feuds, they don't normally talk. <laughs> yeah. It's really awkward, actually. I'm very proud of my daughters. Proud of my brother, too. He's doing so good. He's going to make some fish and put it on the table for you guys all to try, and then you can get meat for a main course. Okay. Order in, please. Iceberg, pea froth, one mini burger, medium. Two anglais medium, one fluta. Family and friends, seven bocconcini salad. Can I get fries, please? Yeah. Can I get salad, please? Two for four, one for five, refill for ten. I need a mini burger, guys. Hold on mini for a mini burger. burger. Right now, chef. Here you go. Oh, yeah. Are they Three salmon. Three pork family style. The burger's gonna be one minute, guys, so let's get another order of fries and salad down, okay? One, two, three. Bread for six. It's not ready. You stare at Mark, it's not gonna happen any faster. Okay, here we go with three gnocchi, three salmon right here. Yes, chef. I love it. It's the first time in seven weeks that my kitchen is running like a professional kitchen. Oh, this is good. Oh, I can tell it's. Sauce from the oh, it's right. yummy. Wow. The food's delicious. It feels like comfort food. It's really good. Nice. Food's excellent. It's perfect. Bacon and blue cheese can't go wrong. <laughs> I was on cloud nine. And I had all my favorite people in the restaurant tonight. So I'd like you to meet Bianca. Hi. Hi. I'm Bianca. Nice to meet you. Her confidence has definitely improved since she's been here. She was lost for a little while, not sure what to do, and now she seems like she's happy doing this, and she's excited, and she's making plans. Enjoying yourself? Very much. Good, good. I'm glad. Food is great. Yeah. And look at you smiling. I know. She's excited about life again. She's buoyant. She's come to life. She's never had many opportunities, and this is her first real opportunity she's had in years, and we're all tickled for her. I feel yeah. awkward now. <laughs> I kind of feel like I'm doing something right, like uh, I'm moving forward in my life. So you're doing a great job. Thank you. Thank That's you very much. Good. They're happy for me to see me working full time again and not doing this stupid <laughs> Definitely. They're very supportive, and they let me know, too. It's surprising to see him hold a job for this long. <laughs> I am very proud of my sister. It's, it's great, and it's, um, it's inspiring me, inspiring me to, to, to achieve my dreams. My mom, since she started the job, she's more happy, and she's out and about more. I knew her from the block when she was as bad as you could be, and now I'm so proud of her, you know? She's pulled herself up. She did it all herself. Yeah. That's cool. I've worked really hard, you know, and especially for my daughters. They're just the world to me. They're number one, right? And, uh, yeah, just to see them proud of me and, you know, that I've changed and stuff is, is the world. So, uh, can I take your plates? Are you ready for dessert or what? No, I'm not done. Okay. It was our best service yet. Everyone put in extra effort to make the night go really well, and I've really enjoyed meeting the trainee's guests. Is that your family? Viana, yeah, do you want to meet my yes, aunt and my mom? You. I'm Viana. Pleasure to meet Viana. you. That's my mom. Hi, Viana. Hi. Man, oh, man, lovely. Thank you. Where, my dear, do you get your tan? Do you go to the chicken bake or? I, no, I don't go there, but I'm in Vancouver, so I've taken some time to enjoy the beach. Well, like, the rest of my family doesn't talk to me, so uh, 
I'm happy that they came. They're the only two that talk to me. They don't normally talk to each other, so. She's learned a lot. Good. And she's a very nice girl. Itar was really happy to see her mom and great aunt together. I think we may have patched up an old family feud. I think Itar is just a great waitress. For Itar to have a, a door opened, right, and then to have the, to be surrounded by the good energy and caring, loving people makes a world of a difference. Love you. I love you too. Be in bed by 10. <laughs> Tonight was such an amazing evening because he reminded us of how the trainees came in seven weeks. You can be proud of her. She's f***ing. Yeah, She's very good. This is the man. This is the guy that throws plates and he That's gets mad. That's the woman. <laughs> you. you. Yeah, there we go. Oh no, man, I'm sick of this drama. You know what I mean? If you don't want to be here, f***ing there's the f***ing door. It's a Today, last service, let you okay, throw that away. You find out you were pregnant, you're telling me that for real. Mm -hmm. Huh? I just need to put my bra yeah. on. That's all. Your bra on? Why don't you steal some more tips? Shut money? up! I don't give a f about the money. Why don't you walk out again? Listen. Hey guys, this is the new chef. Everybody say, welcome, chef. Welcome, welcome chef. chef. These are the real stars of the show.